You're about to see Deputy Castillo snooping around a man's house who is a retired police officer from Tampa. One of the worst situations you could be in because all cops have firearms and they keep them after they retire. Now the deputy was called there by a family member to check on the well-being of the resident because his garage had been left open for two days. And we all know how well-being checks go. We're going to break this down. The first part of this video is suspect to me. The door is cracked, but they don't show the full body camera. It was common practice to twist a knob and to see if a door was unlocked when doing well-being checks. Does he have dogs or anything? I don't, I don't, don't think no, so. No, no. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. The man inside is 88 years old. There's a possibility that it could be a death call. But the first thing you would notice when you walk into a house after someone hasn't been seen for two days is the smell. Another thing extremely suspect here is that they're trying to prove a point. Police departments always Sheriff's redact office. the internal view of a home on body camera because it is exempted in Florida law. Sheriff's office. On well-being checks, it is not always typical to have a second unit with you. But on this instance, hindsight is 2020. Now she traverses up these stairs here, Sheriff's looking office. at this location. There's a couple things that you want to do. You need to address all of your potential openings. Know your escape route. Have hard and soft cover. Now, for some reason, she bypasses door number one, number two, and kicks open door number three. No one is behind that one. The person is actually in door number five. Now, if you are going to clear a home, you want to systematically check each door. Don't haphazardly go back and forth, just as she did here, because now you have threats on either side of you, to the back and to the side. Sheriff's office. I want you to notice something here. She jingled the door. That door was more than likely locked. Now she goes back into one of the rear bedrooms and checks this one. This is where she ultimately ends up at instead of retreating down the stairs and cornering herself into a room where she ultimately has to shoot this man. Allegedly, the man is hard of hearing and he is not hearing the announcements or the knocking from this deputy. Sheriff's office. Who's there? Sheriff's officer. Is Deputy Castillo. Now the proper thing would have been to do is tell him to come outside and you'll meet him outside to chat with him to make sure he's okay. So instead of abiding by the homeowner's orders, what she does is back herself into a corner, pen herself in where she has to make the ultimate decision to end this man's life. Shots fired, shots fired, subjects down. Sheriff indicated that this was tragic, but he also stated that the deputy was forced to use deadly force on Tuesday morning after an encounter with an armed subject inside a Riverview home. They don't mention that it was his home, and they don't mention that he was hard of hearing, nor do they mention that they had a warrant, or they tried to contact a family member first, or do they mention that they had dispatch try to reach someone there. Generally, in their CAD system, they have priors or phone numbers for residents, or even a reverse lookup. Instead, a well-being check turned into a nightmare.